this short video will cover login inputs to feeds on LeanMonPy to set up solar PV data login. So I've got LeanMonPy set up and installed here. I can see the data is uh, successfully coming in from the CD clamps. And uh, if I just go to the solar PV application guide, guide.openengimonitor.org, application solar PV, and scroll down to this diagram here. Um, today I'm setting up a solar PV type two system. This is where um, we can't monitor the solar PV and consumption separately like we can with a type one. We have to just monitor the solar PV consumption and uh, our monitor grid import export. Then we can calculate consumption from that. Um, all solar PV systems can actually be monitored in using the type two method. So we're gonna focus on the type two method here. The input processing is actually slightly easier for type one, um, but using the device module, as I'm about to show you now, um, it's also very straightforward for type two. So looking at this diagram, we should connect CT1 to monitor the grid import export. Um, that's one of the cables going into um, or out of the, the utility meter. And CT2 should be clipped around the output from the solar PV array, the AC output. Um, either the CT should always be clipped around the live or neutral cable and not, not both. So once the hardware is set up, we can look at the data coming in. Um, so we're currently consuming 720 watts um, and the solar is generating um, 23 watts. It's evening here, solar PV is not generating much. So to log these inputs to feeds, um, nothing is currently being logged. Um, we need, we're gonna use the device module, which makes uh, setting this up nice and straightforward. So I'm gonna click this little cog icon here on the top right hand corner um, to configure this device using a device template. Uh, this is an E1 Pi uh, type two, so click on E1 Pi solar PV type two system. There we go. And uh, I'm just gonna save that. And it's just showing us here what, um, uh, what inputs, it's, what feed names it's going to create. It's going to use the default feed names for a solar PV system. Okay, so we just go initialize. Then we wait a few seconds. And there we go. We have the inputs set up here. Okay, now that the inputs are set up with input processes, if we go to feeds, we'll see that uh, these feeds here have automatically been created. Um, using the standard uh, solar PV feed naming structure. Um, fairly self-explanatory, they all have their units. Um, we can go in here, click on a feed, and just view it quickly. There's obviously not much data here, it's only been recording for a few, a few seconds. So you can see a few minutes of consumption here. And it's, uh, it's currently evening time, so I haven't got any, um, any solar PV data to show, I'm afraid. Um, but obviously that'll be populated um, as it comes in. So there we go, feeds are set up. Um, the final step for a solar PV system um, is you probably want to use the, the, the solar PV application um, app view, um, which is the best way to view solar PV data. So up here on the top bar, if we go to apps, then we're going to add a new app. Um, we're going to choose the My Solar app. Um, we'll stick with the default name. And now it's automatically detected the feeds because they use the um, default feed names and it's automatically populated them into the, the solar PV um, app here. Um, obviously I haven't got much data to show, but if the solar PV was, he was generating, that would be shown in, uh, in yellow. And uh, if we were using non-standard solar PV v names, you can go in here and you can manually select what feed you want to use for use, but we'll stick with auto select. It selected the, the use feed there. Here is an example of the My Solar PV app with some actual solar PV data in it. Um, so we can see here, this is multiple days of solar. Um, this site actually has a solar PV diverter fitted to divert excess energy to hot water. So you can see the, the most Part first part of the day, all the energy from solar is being diverted into um, the hot water there, and there's a bit of solar PV export. So the self-consumption, the direct consumption of this site is uh, is quite high. Um, it's only a small 1.2 kilowatt peak system. If we go to history, 
we can view each day how much has been consumed and how much has been generated. A mouse over a particular day, you can see below the you know the figures of how much was used or consumed on that day. And that day changes. So we can show all since the beginning of beginning of time.